hello there guys welcome back to our youtube channel cat camster today we will design this nutcracker assembly in solidworks 2018 we will sketch each and every component of this assembly and at last we will see how to assemble and we will assemble this assembly now i am going to use this drawing to create that assembly you can see this is the bill of material of nutcracker assembly there are total eight parts in this assembly base which is this this one part number two adjuster base is this one and same as all these parts now first we will create our part number one base and this is the drawing of our part you can see all these dimensions which are mentioned in this drawing are in inches so make sure you are working under inches system and before getting started if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel subscribe our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications of our latest videos quickly so before we wasting any further more time below let's start so first let me go through this drawing you can see this is our drawing of part number number one base first we will create one rectangle of 3 inches uh, by 11 inches and its thickness you can see here it is 0.38 inches so let's create part number one base now we will create our part number one which is base you can see this is the drawing of our part number one so first I will create this is a first angle projection drawing so this is the front view and this is the side view so let me go through the software screen first I will create this 3 by 11 rectangle go to file select here new select part click here ok now select here background to plain white and select here inch pound second system now select here sketch select here front plane to sketch now select here center rectangle snap this origin as a center of the rectangle and create one rectangle now select here smart dimension this edge select this edge this will be 3 inches and this distance will be 11 inches as per the drawing you can see this one is 3 inches and this whole length is 11 inches now we will create these holes you can see all these two and these two holes are equal in size i mean dia you can see here 0.25 inches and these inner four holes their dia is 0.13 inches so let me create first these four holes or you can simply create these this one half set and then mirror it along this mid axis I will use this approach I will create these four and then I will mirror these to other half so that we get our all holes now for that select here circle command create two circles like this and two circles here now we have to add some constraints you can see these two circles their centers are vertical here also and these two adjacent circles have their centers horizontally now for that select first one center now hold down the control key select the center of the second circle and select here make vertical now select the center of the first circle and hold down the control key select the center of this circle now make them vertical now select the center of the first circle hold down the control key select the center of the other circle and make it horizontal now select this center hold down the control key select this center again make them horizontal now you can see these four will move along now 
we have to add equality relationship now select this circle hold down the control key select this circle and make them click here equal or from here equal now click here ok now select this circle hold down the control key select this circle and make them equal now select a smart dimension you can see these two have a dia of 0.25 and these two have a dia of 0.13 so select this one enter the value of 0.25 inches now select this circle its dia will be 0.13 inches like this now you can see from this edge it is 1 inches so select this edge select this center this will be 1 inches now you can see from this edge the lower set of holes are 2 inches apart so select this any of these two centers like this center and this edge this will be 2 inches like this now we have to specify the center to center distance or you can also specify you can see these are 0.5 inches apart these two from this edge now select the center this edge enter the value of 0.5 like this now you can see this these two set of circles are 3.75 inches apart from this edge now select any of these centers select this edge this will be 3.75 like this now select here one center line and select snap this midpoint of this length like this create one vertically downward now select here mirror command mirror entities now it is asking for the entities now select these four holes like this now select here mirror about mirror about this axis now click here ok now go to features select here extrude boss base now select here mid plane we will extrude it about the mid plane now you can see here 0.38 inches is the thickness so enter the value of 0.38 inches like this now click here ok you can see this is our part number one base now we will add some appearance and save this part so that we can use in it in the assembly now let me change appearance to you can choose any appearance which you want i will try to give it a wooden structure so go to organic select here wood and select this polished oak like this you can see now click here save go to desktop Now select here nutcracker and save this part as part number one base. Now in the next step we will create our next part which is part number two the cylinder. Now we will create our part number two which is this cylinder you can see this is the drawing of our part number two and this is the front view this is the side view and this is the bottom view of our part and these dimensions are in inches you can see now first we will start from this front view first we will create this front view then extrude it up to a distance of 3 inches after that we will create these 4 holes at the bottom now go to file select here new select part click here ok now select background to plain white and select here inch pound second system now select here sketch select here front plane to sketch now select here circle command create two circles 
as origin as center now you can see the die of these two circles are 1 inches and the radius of the outer one is 0.75 inches so select a smart dimension select this outer one its radius is 0.75 so die will be 0.75 multiplied by 2 which is one and a half inch you can see it automatically does the mathematical calculations now the inner one is of one inch so select this inner circle enter the value of one inch now select here line command snap this point create one line again now up to this point now we will specify this height which is one inches and this width will be automatically the die of this outer one which is one and a half inch so this height select a smart dimension select this one this will be one inches you can see this is one inch from this center to the base now select here trim entities now trim this portion now go to features select here extrude boss base and select here mid plane to extrude now we have to specify the extrude distance which is 3 inches here from this view or this bottom view you can see this is 3 inches long so enter the value of 3 inches like this now click here ok now select this base normal to and sketch now create here two circles now select first one hold down the control key select this other one make them equal now select the center of first one hold down the control key select the center of the other one make them horizontal now select a smart dimension you can see the dia of these four holes are 0.13 inches and the depth is 0.5 so select this one the die will be 0.13 inches you can see this one 0.13 inches and from these two edges their centers are 0.25 inches apart so select this center this one this will be 0.25 now select this one and this edge this will be 0.25 now we have to specify the vertical distance you can see this center to center distance between these two sets are two and a half inch and the total distance is three inches so the remaining will be 0.5 inches or a half inches which is the total from here to here so from each edge this and this these circles will be 0.25 inches apart or half inch divided by two or half of the half inch now select this center this edge this will be 0.25 now I will mirror these now select here center line create select them snap this midpoint of this edge like this create one horizontal line now select here mirror entities select these two circles now mirror about this axis you can see now click here ok now we will use the extrude cut go to features select here extrude cut by default it is showing the whole distance but we have to only the depth here is 0.5 inches which is shown here now enter the depth value 0.5 inches like this yeah 0.5 now click here direction will be upward you can see now click here ok now you can see we have created our part number 2 which is this cylinder now we will add some appearance to it let me select here metal and select here brass select here brushed brass like this now save this part 
part number two cylinder now save this part now in the next step we will create our part number three which is this hinge now we will create our part number three which is this hinge you can see this is the front view and this is the side view and this is the bottom view of our part first we will start through this front view create this section and extrude it up to a distance of 0.75 or 3 quarters of an inch after that we will create these holes so let's get started first select here file select new select here part click here ok now let me change background to plain white and select here inch pound second system now select here sketch now select here front plane to sketch now let me create one center line like this and the height of this line will be one and a half inch so we'll select smart dimension select this line its length will be 1.5 inches now select line create this profile like this now select this line and select this point so select these two points select this first point hold down the control key select this other point now make them horizontal now go to smart dimension now you can see here the total height is 1.5 inches which I have added now this distance is 0.45 inches so select a smart dimension select this one this will be 0.45 now this whole distance we have to specify now here you can see the total distance from the center to this base edge it is 1 inches from here up to here it is 1 inches and from the center to this edge it is 0.75 so the remaining this distance will be 0.25 inches this will be 0.25 inches so select a smart dimension select this edge and this edge this will be 0.25 like this now is this gap here is of 0.5 but here we have drawn the half profile so this will be 0.25 so select this edge and this edge this will be 0.25 like this now you can see our sketch is fully defined now we will mirror it for that select your mirror entities and drag and select all corners these sketch edges now mirror about this axis now click here ok now this is required profile now we will extrude it up to a distance of 0.75 inches now go to feature select here extrude now select here mid plane enter the value of 0.75 now click here ok now you can see we have to create these holes at the bottom and this face here this hole and these holes at the bottom now first we will create this hole for that select this face click here normal to and select here sketch now select circle command create one circle now select the center of the circle hold down the control key select this origin point and make them vertical now go to smart dimension the dia of this circle is 0.25 and its depth is through wall now select this this will be 0.25 you can see and its height from this base edge is 1 inch select the center point select this base edge this will be 1 inch now go to feature select here extrude cut and select here through all both 
we need not to create the other one circle on this face we will select the through all command so that it cuts through all this body now click here ok now you can see now we will create the holes at the bottom for that select this face click here normal to now select this face and sketch now select here circle command and create here two circles of dia 0.25 inches now select first one circle hold down the control key select this other one make them equal now select the center of the first one circle hold down the control key select the center of the other make them vertical now you can see the dia of these two circles are 0.25 inches so select a smart dimension select the circle this will be 0.25 now from these side edges from this top edge it is 0.25 select this top edge select this center this will be 0.25 now from these side edges it is 0.25 to zero their centers are point to zero inches apart now select the side edge the center this will be point to zero inches now same as here select the center select the side edge this will be point to zero inches apart now you can see the depth of the hole is point five inches or half inch now go to feature select a extrude cut now enter the value of point five inch now let me tilt it you can see the direction will be upward now click here ok now as you can see we have created the bottom hole now what we will do is add some appearance to it now we will select here breast brass now save this part this is our part number three hinge now save it part number three hinge click here save now in the next step we will create our part number four which is this piston now we will create our next part which is part number four this piston you can see this is a drawing of our part all these dimensions are in inches now first we will create this one inch dia circle then we will extrude it up to a distance of five inches after that we will create this cutout and these cutouts at later and these holes at last we will create these holes of dia 0.5 inches so let's get started select here file select here new select part click here ok now let me change background to plain white and select here inch pound second system now select here sketch select here front plane to sketch now select here circle command select this origin point as a center now create one circle now select here smart dimension select this circle and enter the value of one inch now go to features select here extrude boss space now select here mid plane enter the value of five inches you can see this distance is 5 and the 1 inch is the dia now click here ok now select here right plane click here normal to and sketch now select here 3 point arc create one arc like this now select this center point this arc exa exactly at the middle so it will be 0.5 inches apart from the top and bottom edge you can see now you can see the center of this arc is 0.25 inches apart from this edge and its radius is 0.5 so select the center select this edge this will be 0.25 inches and select this arc its radius will be 0.5 now select a line command select the center of this arc 
create one vertical or downward line i will create downward so that you can easily view now go to features select a revolve cut now angle will be 360 degree select this axis and sorry clear section now go to this axis box select this axis and contours will be this sketch or select this region uh, one more thing we have to do is close this sketch now simply drag this point up to this one and same as here select line and connect these two points now drag this point up to here now select your trim entities and trim this portion now you can see this is a close this sketch now again select a revolve cut axis will be this one you can see now click here ok now you can see we have got our desired cut now again select a right plane click here normal to and select a sketch now we have to make this cut out for that select a line command create this profile Or select this line and make it horizontal select this line and make it horizontal now we have to specify the dimension you can see the length is 1 inches and from center line it will be 0.25 inch select a smart dimension select this edge this will be 1 inches from this origin or center line it will be 0.25 inches Now go to features, select here extrude cut. Now we have to cut through all. Now select here through all both. Like this. Now click here OK. Now we, we want it on the other side. So select here mirror. Select here top plane. Features will be select this cut by extrude one. Now click here OK. Now you can see our cut is created. Now in the next step we will create this hole on this face. Now select this face. Select here normal to. Let me drag it like this. Now select this face. Sketch. Select circle command. Create one circle. Now the dia of this circle is 0.25 inches and its distance from this edge is 0.25 also. Select a smart dimension, select the center, this edge, this distance is 0.25. Select this dia will be also 0.25 and it will it will be exactly at the middle, its center. So from upper or the below edge it will be 0.5 inches because the whole dia is 1 inch so select the center select this select these edges not these one now click here 0.5 Now click here, go to features, select here extrude cut, now select here through all both, now click here ok. Now this is our next part, part number 4 piston. Now I will add some appearance to it, select here steel, select here brazil steel. 
now save this part Now this is our part number 4 piston. Now in the next step we will create our next part which is part number 5 this adjuster. Now we will create our next part which is part number 5 this adjuster this is the front view of our part number 5 and this is the side view first we will create this section after that we will make this cutout circular cutout so let's get started go to file select a new now select your part click here ok now select your plain white background and select system to inch pound second system now select your sketch select your front plane to sketch now select rectangle circle command create one circle now the die of this outer circle is one and a half inch and we will extrude it at a distance of 0.5 inches so select a smart dimension select the circle its die will be 1.5 inch now go to features select here extrude direction will be opposite now select here mid plane to extrude enter the value of 0.5 inches because here the distance is 0.5 and the die is 1.5 now click here ok now select this face click here normal to and sketch select circle command select this origin point as a center create one circle now select a smart dimension now the die of this this circle from here up to here is 0.99 inches so select a smart dimension select this one enter the value of 0.99 inches now go to features select here extrude boss base now the distance will be 2 inches from here up to here this is 2 inches so enter the value of 2 inches like this now click here ok now select here right plane click here normal to now select here sketch now select your three point arc, create one arc like this. Now select line command, again select here sorry line command, connect these two points. Now this whole distance is one inch or 0.99 inches. So this will be at the half, so select the center, select this edge. This will be 0.99 divided by two. Now the radius of this arc is 0.5 and its distance from this edge is 0.25 select this arc its radius will be 0.5 inches and from this edge it is 0.25 inches you can see now go to features select a revolve cut now select this as an axis now click here ok now you can see uh, looks like it was not exactly at the center let me edit that mm, one more thing Yeah, this center will 
on side with this line so select the center hold down the control key select this line and make them coincident now it will be symmetric the cutout now exit this now you can see it is symmetric along the corners now this is our part now let me add appearance to it select here brush steel now we will save this part which is part number 5 adjuster now select here save select here desktop part number 5 adjuster now click here save now in the next step we will create our part number 6 which is this handle now we will create our next part which is part number 6 this handle you can see there are two types of sections in this part from this edge starting at this edge and up to this edge this section is a circular section of dia 0.5 inches and this section of 3 inches here is a square of side 0.5 inches so let's start creating first I will create 0.5 inches dia circle and extrude it up to a distance of 5 inches after that I will sketch on this face here this end and sketch a square of dimension 0.5 inches side then extrude it up to a distance of 3 sorry 2 and a half inch now go to file select here new select here part click here ok now select background to plain white and select here inch pound second system now go to sketch select front plane to sketch now select your circle command snap this point create one circle now go to smart dimension select this circle enter the value of 0.5 inches now go to feature select here extrude cut and select here mid plane enter the value of 5 inches now click here ok now you can see 0.5 inches dia up to 5 inches length now square of 0.5 inches now select this face click here normal to and sketch now select here center rectangle snap this point create one rectangle now we have to make relation of these two sides equal so that it becomes square now select this edge hold down the control key select this edge and make them equal now smart dimension select any of the edges and enter the value of 0.5 inches like this you can see now we will extrude it go to features select here extrude boss space extrude distance will be 2 inches plus 0.5 inches which is 2.5 inch so enter the value of 2.5 inches now click here ok now in the next step we will create these two holes of dia 0.5 sorry 0.25 inches which is exactly at the middle now select this face click here normal to now select here sketch now select circle command create here two circles now select first circle hold down the control key select this other one make them equal now center select the center of the first circle hold down the control key select the center of the other circle make them horizontal now go to smart dimension you can see the die of these two circles are 0.25 inches select this circle enter the value of 0.25 you can see the center from this edge thus from this edge the center of this second circle is 2 inches apart and from first the first circle is 0.5 mm 0.5 inches apart so select this edge the center this will be 0.5 now select this one this edge this will be 2 inches apart now we have to specify that this distance from the top edge or bottom edge you can see this is exactly at the middle and this distance is 0.5 so from this edge both of them will be 0.25 
Now go to features, select here extrude cut, select here through all. Now click here OK. Now you can see this is our final part, part number 6, handle. Now we will save this part and add some appearance to it. Select appearance here, brush steel. And save this part as part number 6, handle. Now in the next step, we will create our next part, which is this part number 7, adjuster base. This one. Now we will create our next part which is part number 7, this adjuster base. First we will go through this top, sorry front view. This is the bottom view because it is a first angle projection. So the bottom view is always above the front view. Now first we will sketch this profile. Now go to software screen, select file, select here new. Now select here part, click here ok. Now select here system, inch pound second and background to plain white. Now select here sketch, select here front plane to sketch, select circle command, create two circles which are concentric using this origin as a center. Now the die of these two circles are the outer one is of one and a half inch because the radius is 0.75. The inner one is of one inch. So select a smart dimension inner one is of 1 inch, enter the value of 1 inch, select this outer one, its dia is 1.5 inch, now select line command, snap this diametrical grip, this one, now create this profile, now you can see from this center to this base it is 1 inch, select the smart dimension, select the center, select this base, this will be 1 inches. Now select your trim entities, trim this portion. Now go to features, select here extrude boss base and select here mid plane. Now the extrude distance will be here 1 inches. Enter the value of 1 inch. Now click here OK. Now we have to create these holes at the bottom. For that, select this face, click here, sketch, normal to, now select circle command, create here two circles, now select the first one, hold down the control key, select this other one, make them equal, now select the center of first one, hold down the control key, select the other center, make them horizontal. Now select the smart dimension, you can see the dia of these two circles are 0.25 inches and the depth is 0.5 select this one dia will be 0.25 and the center to center distance is 1 inches select this center and this center this will be 1 inch so from this origin to this center this will be 0.5 inches now we have to specify the distance from the top or bottom edge which will be 0.5 because the whole distance is 1 inch and it is exactly at the middle sorry looks like I entered a very large value yeah this will be 0.5 inches like this now you can see the depth is 0.5 inches go to features select a shoot cut and enter the value of 0.5 inches down direction will be upward now click here ok now you can see our hole is created now let me verify these tire 1 inch and this should be 1.5 yeah now we will save this part now first i will add appearance select a brass select here brushed brass now save this part as part number seven adjuster base
part number 7 adjuster base now in the next step we will create our last part which is part number 8 this connection now we will create our last part which is part number 8 this connection we will this is a very simple part and we will create it with the help of the slot command which will help us a lot so let's get started select file select here new select here part click here ok now select here system i am going to work under inch pound second system now select background here to plain white now select here sketch select here front plane to sketch now select here straight slot select this origin point and the other point and create a slot like this now in the next step select here circle command and snap the center of these two arcs create two circles now select the first circle control hold down the control key select the second circle and make them equal now we have to specify the dimensions you can see the center to center distance is 2.3 inches so select a smart dimension select this center and this center this will be 2.30 inches now you can see the outer is this arc outer one is of dia sorry radius 0.25 so select this arc its radius will be 0.25 you can see and the inner circle is of dia 0.25 now select this inner one its dia will be 0.25 like this now go to features select here extrude boss base now you can see here the thickness is 0.25 inches now select here mid plane and enter the value of 0.25 inches because here the distance is 0.25 now click here ok now i will add a pin is to brush steel now save this part as part number 8 connection now in the next next step we will assemble all our components now we will assemble all our components which we have created earlier with the help of the assembly mode of SOLIDWORKS 2018 now this is the bomb also known as bill of materials first we will insert this part number one base and make it fixed after that we will insert these three components part number two adjuster base part number six cylinder and part number four hinge after that I will insert part number three part number seven these eight and this five so let's get started select here file select here new now select here assembly click here ok now let me change here background to plain white now select here inch pound second system now select here insert component insert this part number one base rotate it like this now again select here insert component now I am going to insert this part number 7 adjuster now rotate it like this now I want these two holes to be concentric with this one and this face to be made with this face for that select this inside surface of the hole select here mate now select this inside surface and make it concentric click here ok solidworks will automatically detects the mate type now select this other hole this one and this inside surface make them concentric click here or you can select also here now click here ok now select this face and this face now make them coincident click here ok now exit this mate command now again select here insert component now insert this part number 2 cylinder 
Now rotate this part like this. Now we want these four holes which has this part to be concentric with these four holes. For that, now select this inside surface, click here mate. Now select this inside surface of the hole, make them concentric, click here OK. Now drag this part like this. Now select this cross hole and this one inside. Make them concentric. Uh, looks like I made a mistake. Let me check. Yeah, with these. Now select this inside circle, cut out, and this one looks like there is an error yeah by mistake I let me open this part and edit sketch Yeah, by mistake uh, I added this dimension. This dimension will be up to this means let me delete this dimension from this center. Select this center. From this center up to this center. This will be 3.75 not from this leftmost edge now it is fully defined now click here exit save this part now it is asking for the changes in the assembly click here yes now you can see now select this inside cutout now select here meet now select this this one cut out of inside surface now make them concentric now select this face and this face make them coincident click here ok now exit this mate command now insert component now insert this part number 3 hinge now rotate it like this Now select this inside cutout surface, click here mate, select this inside surface of the cutout, make them concentric, again select this inside surface, this inside surface of the hole, make them concentric, click here ok, now select this base face and this surface, make them coincident, click here ok, now exit this mate command, now we have added our three components. Now select the insert component, insert this adjuster, now rotate it like this. Now select this outside surface, click here mate, select this inside surface, now make them concentric, click here ok. Now select this surface and this surface, make them coincident, click here ok. Now exit this mate command. Now again select here insert component. Now in the next step we will insert this part number 4 piston. Now rotate this part like this. Now select this outside surface. Click here mate. Select this inside surface. Make them concentric. Click here ok. Now drag this part like this. Now again select here insert component. Insert this handle.
Now in the next step, we will add one width meet, select here meet and scroll down to this advanced meet section, select here width meet. Now select this face, this face and this face and this face. Now it will automatically detect the gap and fit exactly at the center. Now click here OK. Now it's just made command. Now you can see. Now select this inside surface, click here mate. Select this inside surface, make them concentric, click here OK. Now exit this mate command. Now you can see. Now in the next step, insert component, select and insert this part number 8 connection and drag it. Now select this inside surface, click here mate, select this inside surface, make them concentric, click here OK. Now drag this part like this. Now this time select this inside surface and this inside surface, make them concentric, click here OK. Now select this surface and this surface, make them con coincident, click here OK. Now you can see, exit this mate command. Now you will see when I move this one, it also moves. Now select this part, right click and select here copy with mates. Click on this arrow, now it will ask for the same mates. Concentric, click here. We want it concentric with this hole, same as earlier. Now again click here repeat. Now it is asking for the coincident. I will select this face. Now you can see, now click here OK. Now exit this copy with means. Now this is our final assembly of the nutcracker. You can see the nut is placed between these two. Now suppose if you want to animate this motion, this one, it is very simple. Let me show you. All you have to do is specify the position of this handle at a particular time. Now let me select here motion study and expand this. Now you can see, suppose I will drag this timeline up to 4 seconds. Now at 4 seconds, sorry let me put it the initial position and drag this handle up to initial position like this. Now you can see it is at the initial state. Now let me drag this handle up to 4 second. Now suppose at 4 second I want this handle uh, to be in this position like this. Now you can see there is a key generated. Now in the next 4 second or at last at the end of the 8 second you can see it is calculating. Now at the end of the 8 second or the next 4 seconds. I want this handle to be its initial position. Now move this handle up to its initial position here. Suppose now you can see another key is generated. Now click here, calculate. Now you can see it is calculating. Now you can see our animation is done. You can click here, play. Now suppose if you want to save this animation, click here, enter the name, select your EVI file format, select here 16 is to 9 or any resolution you wanted, now select your entire animation, now click here save, now it will ask for the compression, if you want compression you can select or I will select your full frames, now when you will click, click the OK, it will recalculate or ask for the recalculate, you can see, now click here yes. Now it will, it is recalculating the frames after the recalculation, it will save the file and you can view that file. Now it is saved. In this way you can create this nutcracker assembly.
if you like this video please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications of our all latest videos thank you